and welcome back to my channel and to a new video. If you're new here, thank you for clicking on today's video and I hope you do enjoy it. Today's video is going to be a wardrobe clear out. So I like to do maybe four wardrobe clear outs every year. I do split up my spring, summer and my autumn, winter wardrobe so that not everything is in the wardrobe all at once. One, because it would never fit and two, I just like to have that separation between the two. So currently I've got my spring summer wardrobe in here. We are obviously coming to the end of summer now, so I will be switching over to my autumn winter one very soon. So I really like to do a big clear out just at the end of each season and at the beginning of each season so that I basically I'm not filling up my wardrobe with stuff that I don't wear. So today I'm going to be clearing out my spring summer wardrobe. Obviously we've had spring and summer now. So I know what I have reached for and the things that I haven't reached for. I'm going to really try and be brutal today and just get rid of anything that I haven't reached for basically. It might be a bit hard for me to be brutal with some things just because we haven't had the best weather this summer. So I've not necessarily reached for as many summery clothes as I probably would have done in previous years. I also haven't had a summer holiday this year, like going away anywhere, so I've not kind of used my normal summer clothes like strappy tops and things like I would normally. So I won't be getting rid of everything that I've not reached for, but I definitely know there are certain things in my wardrobe currently that I just don't even like and I don't even know why I've still got them to be fair. There's also quite a few things in my wardrobe that don't fit me anymore. So again, that's just entirely pointless keeping those things in there because if they don't fit me, <laughs> just what's the point? I'm, I'm never gonna put it on, am I, if it doesn't fit? So I think it's really important to me to have things that fit, things that I love and try and keep my wardrobe a little bit minimal, which I know it is not when you see it, but I try to. <laughs> Hopefully this might give you a little bit of inspo to do your own wardrobe clear out and be brutal with your own wardrobe as well before we head into the new season. If you do like today's video it would mean so much to me if you could give it a like and leave a comment down below whether you're good at wardrobe clear outs or not because I certainly am not. I know that I'm not so today is going to be a bit of a challenge for me because I'm filming it as well. I will also be selling all the pieces that I decide to get rid of today, so I'll show you everything in my wardrobe, I'm going to take things out one by one, say whether I'm going to keep it or not, and then everything that I'm not going to be keeping will be going up on my Vinted soon, so keep your eyes peeled for that. I will link my Vinted down below, so you can go and check out the pieces over there. Everything will be up for pretty cheap as well. So with that all being said, Let's get on with the wardrobe clear out. I do try to keep my wardrobe neat as much as possible. Sometimes it can be quite hard. So I've got this section here and I have got just a half of the other section as well. It is my boyfriend's wardrobe too, so we do share this. But this side is all of mine. I do also like to try and colour code things. I've got shorts, skirts, trousers in this bit and then it goes into dresses and then in the next section it goes on to tops and blouses. I do also have like a hanging storage thing here with just little tops, a few jumpers, jeans and stuff like that which I'm not going to get all of those out today because I know that I'm keeping all of that stuff that's just basics really, basic tops and everything that don't need to be hung up and they don't need ironing basically so they're just shoved in there. Right so I'm going to start from this side. The first thing I've got here is just I'm going to be keeping, so I've got a pair of wide leg dungarees, which I do wear more in autumn winter. They're like the 1950s style, they're from Hellbunny, I absolutely love them, and I do wear them occasionally to vintage festivals that I go to, so they are staying in my wardrobe. I then have my graduation dress. This is a Ted Baker dress. I absolutely adore this dress, so this is of course staying in my wardrobe. This is probably one of my favourite pieces that I own. I absolutely love it so much. It's so flattering. Obviously love the colour pink as well. Then moving on, I've got my little black section. This is just a 
black cord skirt, so I'll be keeping that. Then I've got this gorgeous dress which I got last year and I wore it actually on New Year's Eve. This lovely black dress from New Look, I actually got it on Vinted as well, so I'll be keeping that as well. And then the last few black items, they're all dresses. I've got this gorgeous velvety skater dress from New Look. This lovely dress, which I hardly ever wear, comes out more in like the party season, so Christmas time. It's just a lovely satin bodycon dress. And then I think I've shown this to you already in previous videos, but I've just got this black linen dress with puff sleeves from H&M, which I got this year. So I'm keeping all of those. Moving on to skirts and shorts and trousers and things. First up, I've got this gorgeous skater skirt, which was from Hollister. I did buy this this year from Vinted, so this is staying in my wardrobe. Then I do need to um, clip a couple of things together sometimes because we don't have enough hires for all my clothes. But I've got two skirts here, so I've got a circle skirt which I wear for vintage festivals just in this quite bright turquoisey colour and then flip it round on the other side I've got just this midi skirt this floral blue midi skirt from H&M which I got a few years ago these are both staying I've got two pairs of denim shorts which I'm keeping both of these shorts which I got this year from H&M and then on the other side that's the back of them that the, I've just got some dark blue Levi denim shorts there as well. Then I have these really cute little shorts which used to be my mum's actually and I wear these all the time in summer. Not so much this year, like I said at the start it's not been the best summer so I've not really reached for shorts as much as I would have liked to. But these are super cute and they're really comfy so I'll be keeping them too. And then I've just got classic denim skirt. I don't tend to reach for this that much but it's something I think that is just a staple. It's a really easy go-to thing if you're not really sure what to wear. You can just chuck a denim skirt on with a nice top and you're kind of good to go really. So I definitely will be keeping that even though I don't reach for it much. Next up I've kind of got like beiges and pinks. So I've got these shorts which I'm so sad I've not worn at all this summer. Just because of the weather. But I absolutely love these. I think I wore them once when we had like that nice couple of really sunny few weeks in June but I love these shorts these are from next and I just love the floral print and the background color is perfect they suit my wardrobe so well and I definitely do reach for these a lot in summer when we have a proper summer then I've just got a pair of trousers so these are wide leg trousers which I kind of wear all year round maybe more in autumn winter but again because of the color like they would go in the summer so I just kept them in my wardrobe they're just these H&M wide leg trousers. I think I got these last year from Vinted. They're a little bit long on me, but they work really well with heels. So I'll be keeping them. Then I've just got a couple of skirts. So the first one is this pink pleated midi skirt from Miss Selfridge. I really like this and I do reach for this quite a lot. I think it is also a good skirt for the kind of summer that we have had this year. So I'll definitely be keeping that. It can obviously be dressed up or dressed down as well. And then the other side, I've just got this suede mini skirt from New Look. Again, this is a piece that I do, well, both of these actually, I keep in my wardrobe all year round because I think they're really versatile in every season. Next up, I actually have something I'm gonna get rid of. It's this like wrap midi skirt. My friend actually was, she did a big clear out and um, she gave this to me and I wore it. I did wear it a few times. It's really comfy. And then I wore it one time and there was a photo of me taken in this skirt and I just hated how I looked. I just really didn't like the way that it fit. So, and the, it's quite bright for me as well, which I think maybe is why I didn't really like it and it didn't really, Feel like it suited me very well so I will be getting rid of this one next moving on to pink as you can probably see first off I've got my little Kath Kirsten strawberry skirt which I wear all the time in summer so I'll definitely be keeping that one then I've just got two pairs of shorts clipped on here so I've got some this is the back of them but some Zara shorts that I got from TK Maxx a few years ago they're just a tailored style short 
which I definitely gravitate towards. And then a more casual style short, just like a linen-y striped short from New Look, which I've had for years. These are just really comfy and they're good for like lounging days or especially on holiday they're perfect for like beach days and things so I'll definitely be keeping both of those and then I've got another pair of wide leg trousers which I will be keeping in my wardrobe all year round I bought these a few months ago now they're just so comfy perfect wide leg fit and I think they will look really nice during autumn just to add a bit of pop of colour because I do tend to wear more like neutral colours in autumn winter but I think this kind of pink it's not like a summery pink if you know what I mean like a pastel -y kind of colour it because it's a deeper pink it will go and it will work in autumn winter as well next up we've got whites so first up is this white midi skirt it's kind of linen -y material I will be keeping this anyway. Um, I've not really picked it up a lot this year. Um, I don't know if it's because I've just had new pieces in my wardrobe and I've not really gravitated towards it. It's also really annoying because I have to iron it whenever I wash it, <laughs> which I don't like. So, I don't know, maybe it's something that I should consider getting rid of. <sighs> we'll see next year, I think. I think I'm gonna keep this for now. Then I've got two white polka dot skirts, so I've got a mini one just with some buttons down the front from New Look. And I've got this polka dot midi skirt as well, this is from Marks and Spencers and it's a bit thicker so it has been good for this summer. Sometimes I forget about certain things in my wardrobe and I feel like these two pieces I've forgotten about, that they even exist in there. So maybe I just need to remember what I've actually got. I think I'll be keeping both of those anyway. All of these bits here that I've got, I definitely will be keeping. First, I've got this white mini skirt from New Look. Again, this stays in my wardrobe all year round. It's a really good staple piece. I feel like you need, you just need a basic white skirt in your wardrobe for any time of year. And then on the back, I've just got my cream Zara tailored shorts, which I got a few weeks ago from Vinted. I absolutely love them. I've been looking for a pair of tailored white shorts all summer and I'm so pleased that I found these for such a bargain price as well. Then moving on, I've got two pairs of trousers here. The first pair is this gorgeous cream pair. It's the same as the shorts, just in trousers. Um, these are from Zara. I bought these a few weeks ago, new from the store. I've wanted them for so long. But I absolutely love them. I did wear them yesterday as well and I absolutely loved my outfit yesterday. Maybe I'll pop up a picture on the screen. I love these and I can think of so many ways that I can style these in every season as well. So these will definitely be a good staple in my wardrobe all year round. So look out on my Instagram for how I style these up throughout each season. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I am at Katie Livion Rose over there if you want to go check me out if you don't follow me already. And then lastly for white bottoms, I've got another pair of wide leg trousers. If you couldn't already tell, I do like a wide leg trouser. These are just a plain white pair. These are probably the most flattering trousers I own. I absolutely love them. They're from H&M. I bought these a few years ago and I do wear them again in every season so these do stay out in my wardrobe. Okay, we are now moving on to dresses. So first we've got greens, blues, that kind of colour. First I've got this gorgeous maxi dress from Apricot. I have reached for this so much this summer because it is a maxi length. It's been perfect for this summer that we've had in the UK this year. This is definitely staying in my wardrobe. Then I've got my blue gingham hell bunny dress. This is a 50s circle skirt style. This is my favourite dress in my wardrobe at the moment. I got this this year for my birthday and it's definitely staying in my wardrobe. I've worn it so much this summer. Then I have a very summery dress which I've not been able to wear at all. This normally comes on holiday with me. I absolutely love this. I definitely will be keeping it. It's just such a shame that I've not worn it at all this year. It will go away until next year and then hopefully when I go on my summer holiday next year this will definitely be coming with me. Now I've got another piece that I will be getting rid of. 
This is just a jumpsuit from New Look. It's like a three quarter length cut off trouser, which I really liked at one point, but I don't think this style of trouser suits me at all. I have long legs and a short torso, so a cut off trouser like this and a wide leg, it just makes, I don't know, it makes me look really out of proportion and kind of strange, I think. Obviously, <laughs> you're going to judge yourself more than other people will, but I really don't like how this looks on me anymore. So this is definitely going. Next up, I've got a few black and white pieces. First is this gorgeous midi dress, which used to be my Nan's. I absolutely love this dress and I have worn it loads this summer um, with a cardigan over the top. And I think it would also look really lovely with a little t-shirt underneath, look quite cute. So I'll definitely be keeping this one. Then I have a play suit which I bought this year, so I'll obviously be keeping this. This is from Topshop. I got this vintage a few weeks ago, and it's been really handy for work and also just a really easy throw-on piece. If I'm just around the house, it's super comfy and it's also cute to go out in still. So I'll definitely be keeping this one. Next up, I've got something which was my mum's again. It's just this cute little beach dress. Because I haven't had the right chance to wear this, because it is a beach dress, you obviously would just wear it as like a cover-up because it's quite short, but I'm not sure. I'm really not sure about it, but I think I will, when I put my summer wardrobe away, I will keep it for now because I don't have a beach cover-up. But if I don't take it on holiday with me next year, then I will part ways with this one. And moving on, we have got white dresses. So first white dress I'm obviously wearing, which I'm obviously going to keep. It's just this really simple white dress from New Look. I've had it for years and it's a good staple in my spring summer wardrobe. Next up is another one from New Look, similar style with the shearing. It's just this strappy one with a sunflower print. It's super cute, super comfy and I definitely will be keeping this. Another one that I'll be keeping is this one from H&M. I love this print, it's so nice, so me. Again, another really comfy dress. Just so easy to just throw on and it looks lovely. Then, I think I might have mentioned it in one of my previous videos. I've obviously got this dress in black and also in pink, which you will see in a second. And I did end up getting the one in white with the pink flowers. I absolutely adore it. This style dress, I don't know, there's just something about it that I absolutely love. The puff sleeves, the detail on the back, the shearing, it fits me so well. So this is one of those pieces I just fell in love with and I had to have it in basically every single colour. Then moving on, I've got this dress. I'm torn with this dress because before this summer, well I mean I've worn this once this summer, but I'm just really unsure on it and I've not really reached for it that much in the past. It was only one, one time this year that I reached for it and I did really like it on. I wore a t-shirt underneath. Oh, I just don't know. I'm so torn. Let me know whether you think I should keep this or not down in the comments. Help me decide because I am really unsure on this. Next, moving on to like pinks and patterns and things. First, one thing I'll definitely be keeping is another 50s style dress. It's this gorgeous beigey colour with pink and blue flowers all over. I wear this so much. I've worn it so much this year and I'll definitely continue to wear it loads. So this is definitely staying. Then another 50s style dress, this one's from Kath Kidston. I got it a few years ago in the sale and it's just so cute. Look at the little bunnies on it. I absolutely love this dress and it is really lovely for Easter as well. It's a perfect Easter dress. So I'll definitely be keeping that one as well. And then I've got this kind of ready pinky dress which used to be my mum's. I wear this dress every single summer and always reach for it whenever it gets warm. So I'll definitely be keeping this one. On to more pink, of course I've got the most pink dresses. This one I'm going to get rid of, it's this bodycon dress from Zara which I've had for years, I think I've worn it once, probably about five years ago. I never ever reach for this dress because it is tight fitting, I don't really like tight fitting dress, so this is going. Next is this gorgeous dress from Zara, I absolutely love this dress, I bought this last year. But I think, well, when I bought it, it's quite short. 
I'm five, 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 six, and it's very, very short on me. But I think I might have shrunk it in the wash and made it even shorter. I'm gonna keep it, but I haven't worn it this year because it, because it is so short. I think I would have worn it if I went to the beach or I don't know if I was by the seaside, trip to Cornwall or something, or yeah, definitely on holiday. This would be a perfect holiday dress. So I'm definitely going to keep this, but I don't think it's really a dress for the UK or especially not like in the city. And then another one I definitely am keeping. You would have seen this a hell of a lot over on my Instagram if you follow me over there. This is this gorgeous apricot floral dress. This is one that stays in my wardrobe all year round. I love this in autumn paired with brown tights and brown boots. It looks so nice. Because of the colour, again, it's a deeper pink so it does work for all seasons. And I wear this so much. I've worn it so much this year and I've worn it so much the whole time that I've had it. So this is definitely staying as well. Okay, the last few pinky patterned dresses. Like I said earlier, it's the same linen dress, but in pink. I got this one from Vintage this year, H&M again. Absolutely love this. I've worn this loads already this summer, and I know that I will definitely wear it again next summer and spring. So that's staying. I have had this for years. It's even, it's from New Look, but it's even got the old New Look logo. That's how long I've had it. I've always loved this dress and it's super duper comfy but I don't think it's it's not something that I would wear out of the house anymore unless it was to work but is that silly to keep something just for those occasions I don't really know this is another piece I need your help with let me know in the comments again whether you think I should keep this dress just for around the house and for possibly for work and then last dress I have in my spring summer wardrobe I know I said I didn't really like bodycon dresses, but this one is an exception because it has this lovely tie detail on the front. It goes right over my belly, so it gives me a bit more security. And it's not as tight as the other one. It's got a lot more stretch to it, so it doesn't cling to, to my body. So it's a much nicer bodycon dress. This is like a happy dress, but I love this. So this is definitely staying as well. I'm going to move on to tops now. So, first I've got white tops, which is the biggest chunk in my wardrobe. First off, I have this lovely palm tree print top from H&M. I do wear this every year when I go on holiday. Again, because I've not been on holiday, I've not actually worn it this year, but I'm still going to keep this. Then I've got this lovely bodysuit from And Other Stories with the lovely 3D flowers on the straps. I've worn this loads and I definitely will carry on wearing this. I think this might be a piece actually that I will keep in my wardrobe all year round as well. Although it's a strappy top, I think it would be nice for evenings out, meals out, things like that. So I'll be keeping this definitely. And then I think this is another good staple in my wardrobe, which I do keep all year round. Mainly for the collar. In autumn, winter, I like to wear jumpers with this because the collar pops out and it just looks adds a little like pretty girly touch to a jumper. But yeah, I definitely do wear this a lot so I'll be keeping this one as well. Then I've got this lovely floaty blouse from Zara which I got last year on Vinted. It's got the lovely embroidery on the top. I do need to cut a few of the strands off that are <laughs> coming apart but I love this top. It looks really nice with jeans as well like it's a good transitional top because of the colours in the, the flowers. They're nice like autumn-y colours so this paired with jeans looks really lovely as well. So this will probably stay in my wardrobe a little bit past summer just into autumn as we're transitioning through the seasons. But this is definitely staying. Then I have this top. This is another one I'm unsure of. I got this a couple of years ago I think and I think it's a really lovely going out top. But it can only be really be worn with jeans, maybe because I have wide leg trousers and things now, because when I bought this I only could wear it with jeans, like because it doesn't really go with a skirt because of the peplum detail at the bottom. But now that I've got a few different pairs of trousers, maybe I will wear this more. I'll probably still keep this for now. Um, this is something I would keep in my wardrobe all year round again. I think it's a good piece for going out, like for meals and drinks whatever 
Um, I love the little bow detail on the sleeve as well. So I'll keep this for now, see if I do wear it or not throughout the next few months, and then when it comes to my next wardrobe clear out, if I've still not worn it, then I will think about passing it on. Next is a super summery t-shirt. This is from H&M. It's just got lemons all over. I wear this quite a lot. I wear it quite a lot to work because I'm not too fussed about it, but I think it is a nice, good top for summer. Um, for those cooler days again and also for holidays and then another white top again a good staple which I do keep in my wardrobe all year round is just this v-neck like wrap peplum top I think it's a really lovely staple I do wear this quite a lot as well definitely in spring it's a lovely spring kind of top with the brodery detail okay I've just moved you because we're going on to the next side of my wardrobe so like I said, I've got just half of this space because I share it with my boyfriend. So we have more white tops to go through. I've got this t-shirt that I bought recently. It's just a basic white t-shirt, v-neck from H&M. I just really needed something simple, basic like this, just to go with like patterned skirts and shorts and trousers and things. I think it's a good staple to have in a capsule wardrobe as well. This would definitely stay in my wardrobe all year round. I think it's a good layering piece as well for autumn and winter. Then I have this bodysuit from Hollister with like a really pretty um, lace detail around the v-neck. I wear this a lot with, again, patterned bottoms. This is a tight fitting one, so different to the other t-shirt that I bought recently, which is bagged like looser. So when I'm not feeling as good, I'll go for the baggy option, whereas this is a good one if I want to wear something more fitted. Then I have this gorgeous blouse which I got recently at one of the vintage festivals that I go to each year. It's from Rock and Romance Vintage. It is absolutely stunning. It's like a Hawaiian wrap blouse. It looks gorgeous. There is a photo of me wearing it up on my Instagram, which I'll just pop up on the screen for you to see what it looks like on. It's just stunning. If you like all things vintage like I do, but you want more like everyday pieces, this brand is so good for that. So I'll leave a link down below to their shop. Then next up, I've got this little short sleeved white jumper from Primark, which I got a few years ago now. This is a great staple piece as well in my wardrobe. I wear this all the time. Keep this in my wardrobe all year round as well because it is a jumper. It's perfect for layering in autumn, winter, so that's staying. Then I've got a quite similar top to the last one. It's another knitted short sleeve top. But it's got these lovely puff sleeves with the pearls on, and it is just stunning. I wear this quite a lot. Again, it's another really good staple, but with something a little bit different with the sleeves. And this also stays in my wardrobe all year round. I sound like a broken record but another piece that stays in my wardrobe all year round is this basic white shirt next I've got a few different blouses this one this is the perfect like spring and autumn blouse because of the color of the flowers and it's quite light so it's good for those transitional seasons so I would say this is more of like an autumny blouse which I will definitely be wearing a lot I wore it loads last year and the year before so this will definitely be staying I absolutely adore this blouse then another floral blouse, I've just got this one from Apricot, I absolutely love it, it's a peplum style, it's nice and floaty and thin and it's really good again for spring and summer. Then another piece, this is more of an autumn winter blouse, um, so I should have really put it away but I did get this last year on Vinted, it's originally from Next, I absolutely love this blouse, it's really comfy, nice and floaty and again a perfect blouse for autumn and winter because it is thicker as well this one but this is definitely staying too. And then lastly, I'm gonna get rid of this one. I'm gonna be brutal and finally ditch it. I've had it for years, but I don't really like the way that it fits anymore. It does still fit, but I just don't like how it fits. It's very cropped as well, which isn't really my kind of style anymore. So if anyone's interested, this will be up on my Vinted very soon. Moving on, still with white, but onto kind of jumpers and cardigans now. This cardigan, I've got this with the matching vest top, which is just 
in the section where I fold things up because it doesn't crease. It's just this lovely fluffy cardigan with little embroidered flowers on it. I got this years ago, it's from New Look. I wear it all the time. And then another white cardigan, this is definitely spring summer because it's got this lovely pattern but it's got, it's like holy, so it's not very warm. It's more of like a showy cardigan but it's good and perfect for like summer evenings or when it's just a little bit on the chilly side, summer days. So that's definitely staying. Another one which I've not actually worn that much this year, but this I tend to actually wear in the summer a lot more over like dresses and things. Maybe more in spring actually rather than summer because it's a jumper. In summer I like to go with cardigan so you can kind of whip it on and off. Whereas because it's a jumper it's a bit harder to kind of take on and off. Um, but I do love this one, it's just a cropped one. It, I would never wear it as a jumper on its own, it would only ever go over dresses because it's really cropped and short but it works perfectly because it cuts off right at my waist so it works perfectly over dresses and it's just got this bow detail which ties around the back but that's definitely going to stay, I think it's a good staple to have for cooler summer days and also spring days as well and then lastly for whites I got this this year, um, it's more for my autumn winter wardrobe but I have worn it loads already because like I said this summer has just been awful so this has been a really good staple, it's super soft and cosy, I love the, the style of this one, it feels really like old money, kind of like I own a yacht and live by the beach, that's the vibe that this gives. <laughs> this is from Primark, it will still be in stock so if you do like this head down to Primark, so that's definitely staying in my wardrobe. And moving on to beige. This is my main colour during autumn and winter, so there will be a lot more when I come around to do my wardrobe clear out for autumn and winter. I do like neutrals during these seasons, but I do have just a few pieces. They are more cosy autumn wintery pieces, but I've just kept them in my wardrobe just in case I need a jacket to throw on or a cardigan or whatever to throw on. This is another piece I bought recently with the striped jumper. So this is also from Primark. I've been looking for a cardigan like this for ages. The Primark pulled through. It's a little bit itchy, but I don't really mind because it looks good. And it was it was cheaper. So this will still be in stock as well in Primark, but I love this. So I'll definitely be keeping that. Another piece I will definitely be keeping and I wear all the time is this lovely cardigan from Lipsy with the pearls on it and it's got the gorgeous pearls buttons. I absolutely love this, this looks so nice in any season, it's the perfect throw of a cardigan but it also looks lovely with jeans, trousers, anything like that and it's a good layering piece for autumn and winter. Next I've got a load of blazers and kind of jackety things, again more autumn wintery but I just kept them in because you never know when you need something to just throw on over whatever you're wearing. I've got this one which is a checked one from H&M, I absolutely love this, I wore this so much last autumn and winter so I'll definitely be keeping that one. Then I've got a new addition to my wardrobe which I bought a few weeks ago, I've worn it once so far because it's not been cold enough to wear it but I've really, I'm dying to wear this more, I absolutely adore it, I saw this in Zara last year and really wanted it but it was like £60 in the shop. I got this on Vinted for a bargain price, so I absolutely adore it and I cannot wait to wear it. I think this is going to be a huge staple for me this autumn and winter. And then I've also got this just plain beige blazer, it's a bit more of an oversized relaxed fit. This is just perfect because it, go, it goes with anything, there's no pattern so it will just go on over anything and yeah, again, I'll be wearing it a lot in autumn and winter. Next up we're moving on to pink. Surprisingly, I don't actually have that many pink tops, which was something that I wanted to fix this year, but I didn't really get round to it. I ended up buying different stuff rather than pink tops. I do have more in my little shelving bit. There's not really much hung up. But the first thing is another blazer. <laughs> this is more spring summery, but I've not really worn it. Again, it's, it's quite thick and warm, but I love this. It's very out there, very bougie, it's sparkly, it's tweed, yeah, I love it, but definitely will be more of an autumn winter staple in my wardrobe again. Moving on to tops, I have this gorgeous satin shirt from H&M, which I wear a lot. 
I think it pairs really nicely with white on the bottom for spring and summer but again this is another piece that I will keep in my wardrobe all year round it's that perfect kind of pink not too light not too dark so it's a good all season kind of top then I've just got a plain pink cardigan this one's from H&M I've had this for years it's a really good staple in my wardrobe again and it does also stay in my wardrobe all year round Another piece which stays in my wardrobe all year round and also from H&M is this short sleeved knitted top. It's again just a really good staple, just plain and goes with everything. More of a spring summer piece is this blouse that I bought at the beginning of spring I believe this year. It's also from H&M and it's got this these gorgeous puffy sleeves and it's this lovely mesh material. I think it's the most flattering top ever. I have seen actually on Vinted there's one exactly the same style as this, but it's a lighter, more like a beigey pink, and it's got little polka dots on it, and it's so cute, and I'm very tempted by it, because I know that I love this shape and this style top, but this is more spring-summer, whereas the other one, because of the colour, it's definitely more autumn-winter, so I think I've just actually convinced myself to buy it. So maybe that will be in my wardrobe this autumn-winter as well. And then lastly, for pinks, I've just got this lovely knitted cami which I bought this year as well. It's from a charity shop but originally from Zara. I haven't actually worn it. I need to wear it more basically. Uh, I just, I don't know, I just haven't had the opportunity to wear it really. I guess because it's strappy with the summer being the way that it has. I've not gravitated towards strappy tops at all but I do really like this so I need to wear it before it's too late this summer. Now on to greens. I've got this lovely blouse, I think it's more of a spring kind of blouse, but I will keep it, I think it's a good basic and good kind of easy thing to just throw on when it's a little bit cooler in spring and summer. Then I have this lovely cardigan with the, the frilly collar detail, this stays in my wardrobe all year round as well, it's a lovely lovely colour, I love this kind of pistachio green. I think I got this last year or the year before from H&M, but yeah, I really love it. Then I also have this really cute cardigan. This goes perfectly with my turquoisey skirt, my vintage skirt that I showed you earlier. The colours match perfectly and I love to wear this at the vintage festivals I go to. It's got a really cute little ice cream on and the lovely pearl buttons, so this is definitely staying. And then lastly for greens, I don't have too much green, is this blouse from Marks and Spencers. It's just this really wide fit, comfy, flowy blouse. I'm gonna keep this as well. I've got one purple thing in my wardrobe and it's time for it to go. I never ever wear this. I just, I don't like this. I don't know why it's in my wardrobe and I don't know why I bought it and I don't know why it's still in my wardrobe. So this is going. If you like it, it's gonna be on my vintage. Next we've got blue, so starting with cardigans. I've got this navy blue and white striped cardigan. This again is giving like nautical, old money, summer style, I own a yacht kind of summer. But this will stay in my wardrobe all year round as well because it's a cardigan, I think it's a really good staple to have. I think this will look really nice with a shirt, a collar shirt underneath it and the collar sticking out. But yeah, it's, I think it's a really good old money style piece, which I'm loving the old money style at the moment. So that is staying. Next piece, this is going to go. I never ever wear this. It's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous blue, light blue sparkly cardigan. It's got a really subtle sparkle to it. I don't know if you can see that. And it's like a, a tie cardigan, so it just kind of hangs. It is lovely, but again, I just, I never ever wear it. So that is going. The piece that I am keeping though is this shirt from Jack Wills. I got this this year on Vinted. Again, it's that old money kind of nautical style, which I love. I don't know whether this is something I would keep in my autumn winter wardrobe. Just because of the color, it's obviously a very light blue. I think it is way more summery. So this will probably go away with my summer clothes. But I have worn it loads already this summer and I only bought it this year as well. So that's definitely staying. Okay, another piece which I'm going to get rid of is another blue cardigan. This, my friend also did give to me uh, the same as the floral skirt from earlier. I really like it, but it's a quarter length cardigan, which 
it's not really for me. I think if I'm going to wear a cardigan, I'm wearing it for warmth, so I need it to be long sleeved. I really liked it, so I did take it, but I've, I've had it in my wardrobe for a good few months and I've not worn it at all. So I think it's just taking up space in my wardrobe. I don't think I'm going to ever wear it. So this needs to go as well. Then I have this lovely blue blouse, which I've had for years. I think it's really lovely. I still wear it loads. This little bit ties in a little bow. I will definitely be keeping this one. And then the last blue item is this lovely blouse, which again, I absolutely adore, but I've not really worn it this summer. I'm still going to keep it though, because it is more of a holiday piece, which is why I've not worn it. This comes on holiday with me every single year, and I love it. It gives me Mamma Mia vibes, so this has to stay. Okay, so finally, moving on to my last little section of my wardrobe. I've got a few black tops here. Like I said before, I don't really tend to wear black too much, but I think these few tops, they're a good staple in my wardrobe. So first, I've got this black bodysuit. I wear this on nights out. It's really flattering, quite low cut, so I've never wear this in the daytime, but it is really good to go out for drinks with my friends or for like date night or something like that. So this is a really good staple piece in my wardrobe, which I'll be keeping. This top was my mum's. I've not had the chance to wear it yet, but I do think it is more autumn winter style, so that's why I've not worn it. She only gave it to me a few weeks ago. It's this lovely peplum blouse, which I think would look really nice with jeans and some black stilettos. It's just got this lovely lace detail around the neck and the waist, and there's some little sequins in there. I don't know if you can see that. But I think it's really, really pretty. So I will be keeping this, and I'll see if I wear it during autumn and winter. If I don't, then it will go as well. And then two more good staples. I've got this lovely puff sleeve blouse. It's got mesh sleeves. Again, this is another really good going out top, so it's a good staple. I would wear this in the daytime during autumn and winter, but I just don't really gravitate towards black that much. But this is one of my favourite tops, so this is definitely staying. And lastly, I've got this, this basic black t-shirt, which was also my mum's when she was younger. It's just a basic black t-shirt, but it's just got a bit of a nicer round the neckline there. It's just got a little bit extra something to add to it. But this is a really good basic in my wardrobe as well. Okay, my lovelies, that is the end of my wardrobe clear out. I have only shown you my clothes today, just because there was so much to go through. I think if I do any wardrobe clear outs in the future, maybe I'll include less of the clothes and I'll do also shoes and bags and coats and things. I obviously didn't want to do coats today because they're not really in my summer, spring wardrobe and all of the jackets that I do own I will be keeping. I do have a hell of a lot of shoes. I'm getting rid of a few of them, I think, um, in this little small pile. It's actually a very small pile. I've not, not done very well with getting rid of stuff. But there we go. If you did enjoy today's video and you would like to see more wardrobe clear outs in the future when I do them, definitely let me know in the comments. And also let me know if you'd like me to include bags, shoes and coats next time. Because I can do that, I just think it would be a very long video. But yeah, definitely do let me know down in the comments below. I hope that you did enjoy today's video. I hope it's given you a bit of motivation to give your wardrobe a clear out before we move into the new season. I'm really looking forward to moving into autumn and winter. It's my favourite fashion season. I feel so much more comfortable in autumn winter clothing. I way prefer the fashion during these seasons, so I'm so excited to move into them. And I'm really excited to create more content as well in autumn and winter. I've not had the opportunity to do that yet with my YouTube channel, so I'm super excited to be able to do that for you guys. If you do have any videos that you would like to see from me, next season. Definitely leave a comment down below with any ideas that you might have or anything that you want to see. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel so that you can see more from me in the future. Also don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you're notified every time that I do upload a new video. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye!